Wangari Maathai planted 15 million trees all around Africa. 15 million trees. She and a group run by women worked together and protested against deforestation. Wangari Muda Maathai was born on April 1, 1940 in Nairi, Kenya. When she was young, she would help her mother get water from the stream that ran past the big tree. She would spend hours trying to pick up the little frog eggs and tadpoles. She didn't know what they were and thought she could pick them up and string them around her neck like beads. Her people were cutting down trees to plant cash crops so they had less firewood. Because they had less firewood to cook with, they couldn't cook traditional food because it used too much energy. They had to eat food that was mostly or all car carbohydrates. Because they were not getting the protein or fiber, the children were getting sick. She heard the woman complaining that there wasn't enough firewood, so she asked them, Why not plant trees? The woman said they didn't know how, so she said they would learn. That was the basis of the Green Belt Movement. She started primary school in 1947. She spent four years there and then went to St. Cecilia's Intermediate School. After five years there, she went to Loretto Lemure's Girls High School. In 1960, she started at Mount St. Scholastica College in the U.S. She earned an M.S. from the University of Pittsburgh. She started work at the University College of Nairobi in 1966. She realized that other people were being paid more than her because she was a black woman, so she started fighting for equal pay. She earned a PhD, which was a major thing because she was the first woman in Kenya to earn one. She became chair of the Department of Veterinary Anatomy in 1974. At age 34, she married politician Wangi Mathai. After they had three children, her husband filed the divorce papers and left her with the kids. She left her job at the university to found the Green Belt Movement and tried to stop deforestation in 1977. She was put in jail as a result of divorce proceedings because her husband said that she was too agitated, too strong, too successful, too stubborn, and too hard to control. In 1982, she tried to run for parliament. The Kenya government started arresting protesters. She expanded the Green Belt movement to other African countries, hoping for less deforestation. When Gary Mathai started organizing protests against building in parks, she also protested against the government selling land. In 2002, she was elected to the Kenya parliament. After that, she became the assistant minister of the environment and natural resources. She received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. It was a big deal because she was the first African woman to win one. Taking Root, a documentary about her, was released explaining her life and the reasoning behind the Green Belt movement. In 2010, she founded the Wangari Maathai Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies with help from the University of Nairobi. She sadly died of ovarian cancer on September 25, 2011 in Nairobi, Kenya. She is remembered for her amazing attempts to stop deforestation in Africa and as being a black role model, also as the woman who planted 15 million trees. Thank you for watching this documentary on Mangai Muta Mathai.